Welcome back to the homestead everybody. Today is the day our garden is exploding with growth. So you know what that means. We're gonna get these guys trellised up and I got a surprise for how we're gonna do that. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Guys, this is it. We got pipe. We got supplies over here. It is from a company called Tink Tube. I will leave a link in the description below where you can go get a discount on their products. But here's the gist. Have you ever had an idea when it comes to trellising or honestly anything, any idea, but don't know how to design it or you don't know what kind of materials you need for it? Well, this is the company, Tink Tube. You actually go on their website. So they have a place where you can sign up for a consultation with one of their designers. You tell them the idea, you sketch it out on paper or however you want to do it, send it over to their designer, and then they come up with a whole uh, 3D design, how it works, how it's going to be put together, and the materials list, and you can order it straight from their website. So. I am super jazzed about this, guys. If you are a DIYer and you have all sorts of crazy ideas like I do, well, they can make your dreams become a reality. I found some images of some trellises that I liked online. I sent them to the designer and they came up with this concept for me. So I'm super excited to build this and then show you how it's gonna work. So another cool thing is when you work with their designer, they give you a 3D rendering of your design and also a color-coded instruction manual with a cut list and everything else so really once the design is done all you need to do is reference the cut list and then the uh, color-coded manual that references which connectors go where and man you're off to the races so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna be referring to our instructions here and we're gonna put this thing together <laughs> All right, we get all of our cuts done and I'm just taking a guess and I'm gonna say that's the hardest part of the project because all we have to do now is follow our instructions. So now we're moving on to just slapping together all these connectors and we're gonna build this thing up. All right, so that's the gist of it. We have four of these legs that we're going to build or this this is the how it's supported on the bottom this down here is going to be the top and then you have these kind of center supports and then we'll have bracing that goes on the angles here but i think after putting this one together we're going to go ahead and um, build our four or three more of these um, one thing I did want to note, this hardware is beefy, which is nice. You know, every uh, bolt and nut is painted. Obviously, your uh, connectors are painted, but they're also pretty, pretty thick, nice and strong. And the cool thing about these connectors is you can see where it, ten it tensions on this side and it grabs into this kind of dovetail pattern back here. But then also all you're doing is tensioning on the pipes there's really nothing else holding it on you tension on the bolt here and it holds and connects this part right here so let's go ahead and build our walls or our stilts and then we will put our braces on and put the top together Okay, we got all the legs put together and our panels built. The one thing that we did notice is that it's easier just to mark everything out to where if you're gonna duplicate a part, go ahead and mark your measurements and then slap these on. The great thing about these connectors, again, is that they tension on and then you can come back and you can tap screw these in 
with some self-tapping screws or whatever it is and that will secure everything permanently. But before we secure everything permanently, we are gonna make sure that it is all good. We're gonna make sure everything is square and ready to go. So let's go ahead and put these legs on and see what it looks like. We got the trellis up and I am super excited with the way that it turned out. I absolutely love it. it looks great in the garden and it's gonna be super functional. So the next thing we're gonna do, I mentioned in a previous video, we are doing the double leader method of trellising our indeterminate tomatoes and I'll show you exactly what that is. So at the very base, we let one sucker grow out and this becomes another main leader along with our other main leader over here and so what I did was I tried to split them in a V and one of them is going to go up this side and attach over here and then the other leader is going to come over here and attach to this side. So when I designed this trellis alongside the team at Tink Tube, I really wanted to make sure that I was able to get the most amount of out of our tomatoes with this trellising system so that's why i chose the double leader method you can get way more production out of your tomato plants by using the double leader so we have one support over here for one side of our leader and one support on the other side and it's really simple guys all we're doing is tying off our jute twine you can pick up this jute twine at any hardware store i got this at ace hardware we're tying off at the base of the plant right here and then we're coming up and I did attach a couple different places using the tapener, but really what you wanna do is you wanna wrap these things. So you take the jute twine and all you do is wrap your tomato plant around the jute twine as it grows just like that. That'll brace it. And the other thing that that's doing is it's keeping tension on this jute twine. And it's really as simple as that. There's nothing else to it. So let's go ahead and trellis up all of our tomatoes and get this row ready. All right, so I like to start on the bottom with the jute twine. Just tie it off. One thing to note about this twine, I, I do leave it a little bit loose because the plant's gonna grow and I don't wanna choke it out. Um, because it's gonna, when you tug up on it, it's gonna hold it just by doing that. One thing to note is that this is biodegradable, so when you're done with the season, you can let it fall to the ground and till it in or whatever. And then I like to run it up to the top. Run it all the way up, get a good idea of where it needs to be. And then just cut it off. And you're not going to be able to get the tension perfect initially but as you twist the tomato vine around the jute twine then it'll it'll automatically start to kind of tension it up as you get more twists in the line there's really nothing else to it you just tie it off the other cool thing about this trellising system is that you can kind of move these plants wherever if they're interfering with each other you can shift them back and forth to where you want them to create good airflow because tomatoes like nice airflow. And then all you do is wrap your vine. And you want to avoid obviously catching a bunch of leaves and stuff like that, you don't break them. And then as that head grows up, like I said, you can see where it's wrapped. As that head grows up, you're just gonna continue to wrap it and see how it's kind of shifted this way 
all I'm gonna do is move it a little bit this way because I want it to grow up this way. Then that's gonna give you the biggest amount of production possible. We're separating our plants, we're getting good airflow, and then we're also using that double leader system so that both of our leading heads are coming up and we got production on both of those heads. So let's go ahead and finish this whole trellis system and then I'll show you what it looks like after we're done. Guys, I don't know any other words to use except for this is a work of art. A custom design brought to life thanks to Tink Tube, and here we are. The double leader trellis system for our tomatoes. Now you can see why we have a support line coming down this way and this way. No need for cross supports because we go down into a V here at the bottom and that's where everything comes up. Our double leader branches out right here. Plant comes up. Eventually it'll grow along these jute pieces of jute twine all the way up to the top with a little bit of a canopy. And that's it. Man, I am super excited. As I've been thinking more about Tink Tube and the company and what they offer, I'm going to call them the Ikea of garden trellises or really whatever you want. Because guys, they do way more than just garden trellising. They do all, they bring all sorts of dreams to life. Anything you have in your head that's DIY, they can make it come to life through their tubing. So check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make your dreams come to life in your garden. Go wacky, go wild, do whatever you want to do. This is what I came up with. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new about the double leader method. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thanks for Tink Tube. Check out their links below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We got amazing stuff coming in the future. So make sure you join us and we'll see you in the next video.